Hello and welcome to Expo Hub. Myself Rakesh. Today in this tutorial, we are going to learn about input dialog box. So the learning objective of this one is to how do you use the input dialog box and the next one would be how do you take the user input and show that in a message box. So please watch this video till the end. If you like this video, please do not forget to click on the like button and subscribe to the channel. All right, let me switch back to UiPath. Now in UiPath, I'm going to create a new sequence. All right, we can give it a name. Oh, we can say input dialog box demo. The first thing that I'm going to do is drag and drop the input dialog box. Okay, here I am going to write the title. I will say Welcome to Expo Hub and here I am going to say enter your name. Okay, the moment you do this, let me run it and show you how the appearance of the input input box would be. So you can see that. Uh, welcome to Expo Hub. The title that we have given has come on the top of the input box and enter your name has come in the body. Okay. So that is the label that has come over here. So the moment you enter a uh, detail and click on OK, that should get stored inside a variable. So we haven't done that yet. So what you have to do, highlight this and then down below here in the properties panel, you have something called result. So here on the top, you have something called uh, label, right? That is what is enter your name has come over here. So there are two different options. One is you write it here on the designer panel or else you can write that over the properties panel. So both the options are available. And below that you have this output. So the moment customers enter uh, the input, so that has to get stored or that has to, the value has to pass to a variable. For that, you have to click on control K and here I will say user input uh, or I would say user name to be precise. Um, so this follows a Pascal standard of writing the variable where U is capital, N is capital, right? Both are in uppercase. So this is, this is the standard that you have to use while creating a variable. Done. The same thing I will do. I will copy this and paste it and all I will do is quickly change the details over here and I will say enter your country name okay and here I will create another variable control K and say country name all right and the next thing I'm going to ask is the phone number again copy paste and here highlight this and say enter your phone number so you can see that I am using double quotes so any string format you have to use always use double quoting UI path all right so three things is done I'll remove this control K and I will say phone number so the moment you could do control K it should say set variable right so that is where you have to type the name so I will say phone number Okay, so three things I have collected. Now I want to show all of them in a message box. So quickly what I will do, I will click on message box. Okay, and here in the message box, I am going to say hi, give a space and then use a plus sign to combine the strings. Hi, and then you have to say username, right? Hi, whatever the username is, plus sign. And say give a space your country name is or you are from you can say you are from right give a space plus sign then use the variable country name plus sign so it will say hi Rakesh 
you are from India and then uh, so as I said here if if you're writing a lot of strings over here all you have to do is click on this and in this window you can write the same thing okay so that will be more clear and visible when you are typing a lot of strings okay. and then and your phone number is and then the phone number is there in the phone number variable right so here when it is integer type uh, it will not accept because message box is a string type it will contain strings so all you have to do is convert that to string using to string dot to string method okay now there is no error message click on okay and you can run it all right it's asking for the name just type rakesh uh, country name uh, let's say i'll say india phone number okay so you can see that hi rakesh you are from india and uh, your phone number is one two three so this is how you utilize the input dialog box and uh, you know in the message box you can combine them now let's do one thing we will create a flow chart and try to design the same thing okay so now in the flow chart as i have already created the sequence i'm not going to write all of this i'll just copy this go to the flow chart and paste it over here okay once again copy this paste it over here so now you can see all the four activities are inside the sequence and it has come over here so all i will do is right click and click on set a start node okay that way it will get connected so the uh, when to use a flow chart so a flow chart is generally used when your project is a complex type where you have to have lot many activities you have to do lot of coding and designing uh, of the robot where there are lot many workflows that is where you have to use a uh, you know flow chart and uh, the best part in the flow chart is i can drag and drop the sequences or i can create a sequence so inside this sequence if i double click you know there are four activities right so if you have to drag and drop all the activities inside a flow chart that would become very complex so the best suggested way is to create a sequence and inside that you keep all your activities so that way if there are a lot many different different activities that you have to do through different sequences so it will look very compact and easy to read so it will give a high level understanding what this sequence will do what the other one will do right that is where you have to use a flow chart otherwise if it is a simple project or simple robot that you have to create then you can go with the sequence all right so that is the basic difference we have also created a different video that you can have a check so let me quickly run this <clears throat> so again it is going to function the similar way okay okay so that way it is showing in the message box right so i think you have learned how to use the input dialog box and how do you use um, uh, the the input given by the user and put that pass that to a variable and then use those variables in a message box so thank you for watching this video guys so we have got so many interesting videos in our channel please do subscribe and like to this video and please do comment if you have any questions thank you have a wonderful day